Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. It's feeding time at the zoo. Yes, Grab and I'm eating too. Yeah, because she's a zoo animal as well. Grab the uh, Willa's grain. We're like trying a bunch of different things to see if we can get a better routine because we do not have a good routine yet. Like we always want to come down. Hi. Hi. Look at her. She wants her grain. Oh, she's like so hungry, Mama. I got locked in there. <laughs> Yeah, like literally, I had to unlock. Let's get these girls. Sam picks our thing so that they open easy. Oh, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. You have poop in here? Okay, I see poop. Because she still is not drinking her water very well. I mean, it helps if it's not frozen. But she's still getting water with everything else. This is a very unique opportunity where my children are locked. Up. Let's see, can you get out? 24 hours locked in a stall. Oh man, you're Daddy, too smart. You ruined it for me. See, that's what that's what she does. Oh, yeah. Sophie's like, I'll get out of school. So uh, right now what we do is we oh, come downstairs, Daddy, come down, we feed them and we muck them just because it's easier, but it's hard because like you guys are saying, take them out of the stall to muck. And it's hard to do that because it's first it's hard to do that because first thing in the morning they're like, I want to eat. We're gonna, today we're trying something new. Look how pretty. I want to ride storm on those fields. Today we're trying something new. We're gonna um, give them their food, go up, do homeschool, come down and do all of our like mucking and then uh, play with them. Sophia's locked in, Sophia's locked in. You can't get out? I can't get out. Oh, food. Let's see, try it. Remember, she's still shy. Is, did she drink any water? Oh, Willow, you've been pooping lots. She's a slow eater too. It. Yay! So I've been, just because it was the first few days, I've been, um, so I was adding beet pulp to her grain and she hasn't been eating at all. So um, today I changed. Lots, lots going on today. Today is a day where we're going to stay home and relax, which means clean the horses, feed the horses, um, play with the horses, play with all of our other pets. I'll show you guys what we do. What, like, we, we are not ignoring our other pets, trust me. Anyways, um, this is our breaking ice stick. Yeah. Like, if you don't have a breaking ice stick at your barn, then you're missing out. So, uh, this is about 10 pounds of hay. Um, Stella will get some of this now, some at lunch, some after lunch. Story being told inside my head I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man I gotta tear this world Right, school is done and we are headed back down to the barn. I got some water, which is a, is a million times a day thing. I'm riding excited Ruby outside. All right, you guys it's go a down. It's pack full of treats. Okay, I'm going to the washroom. I'll meet you down there. Make a move cause the store won't stay open. At last, I'm here on my in my room with our kitty. She is purring away. Yeah, she's like, yes. So peaceful, huh? Anyway, I love that I can have like an extra five seconds to myself by sending the girls down to the barn on their own. Uh, I am headed down there because we have some new exciting things uh, that we're gonna do today with the horses. Um, but anyway, before we go, I wanted to say this to you guys. I've been trying to figure out how to say this and what I feel and I just want to offer this to you guys because this has really literally changed my life but when we were deciding to move to this house it's like such a small house we were going from the house that I loved to this tiny little house that looks 
a way nicer inside than it does outside. It still needs so many renovations. It's like almost like so small. It's not a house I ever imagined that I would live in. And Sam and the girls were like, yes, let's do it, let's go. And I was like, oh, my heart. Like, I don't know if I can be happy in that house. And, and I did want to move. I wanted to move and have our horses home and, and have this whole experience with my family. This is what's keeping us together. Like, we we're closer than ever. And I had so many fears. Like, what if I hate this house? What if, like, it's just not the house that I ever dreamed that I would live in. And I did it for my family. And, I, and I've and i never looked back, you guys. Like, this has been such a big amazing dream come true. I had to go through so many fears and so many what ifs to get to this point into this house and I'm so glad that we made the adjustment adjustment and that we moved here. It's just been amazing and I just want to offer you guys the same exact advice. Follow your dreams even when you're scared, especially when you're scared. Take the leap. Every day I look around and I see signs from God saying just trust. Just trust in the journey. He has a plan. He has a plan for me. He has a plan for you guys and even when you are afraid make that jump anyway it, it is time to break this girl free i'm gonna give her some hay first because she's probably wanting some i'm gonna clean your stall somebody drank all her water and put her hay in there because that's what she does good girl that was the test if i did not pour as much water on top of her hay i don't see any poop though all right this has got to be gutted update on these you know that these are the grain feeders I am actually going to put them underneath the table that I have, that wooden table. It's going to be like a good table height because it's bigger. And I'm going to use these like for the bottom. And I think that's super cool. I think it'll be like maybe not super stylish, but it'll be cute. When it's over, I will see what I've done. Guys, guess what's happening? Stella About to happen. Area yeah, so Stella needs to be able to get used to this place. She needs to come out, but she's not ready for. Oh yeah, guys, we have a board right there. She's not ready for a big area yet, so this is going to be her stall. Yeah, like I, I'm freaking out. I'm thinking like if I was a horse who's been on stall rest for a week and I wanted to run and play. Might even jump it. Yeah, like she might jump it. People are saying, Sophie should be doing well. You know what? Sophie's sometimes a little bit nervous because Stella's been a little bit more pushing, a little bit more forward. And that is okay. Everybody should do what's right for them. Yeah, there's stuff. Okay. Yeah, Stella, you got it. Yeah. Right, so this was what we decided on. I'm gonna close this door. Oh, Daddy! It's okay. What? No. What? what would you I stood up. Her? Why would you hide behind? I'm sitting on the chair. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, no, it's no. okay. Listen, you're scaring her more. Oh, Gabby, scared. Oh, look at Willow. Gabby, you scared. <laughs> All I did, she was literally right there. I just stood up. Oh, there's Willow. So, oh, my God. Okay, so this is our life, you guys. This, this is our life. So, yeah, like, you guys saw Sophie come from behind. Aww. Willow wants to Willow wants to come in here with her. Ah, be nice. There will be no jumping of any jumps unless it's Willow. And Willow, if you want to jump, feel free. But make sure I catch it on camera. Give me a little neigh first. Oh dear. Oh oh, this isn't going to go well. Stella, this is your area. This is this is. Oh dear. Things are getting fast. Gabby, come help me. <laughs> come on. Stella, listen. The, oh dear, this is this is not good. Stella, stop, stop. You don't get to do what you want. Oh, okay, let me grab my mitt. Why can't we let All her right, loose? we can let her loose. Terrified to let her loose. Let me get out of the way. Okay. All right. Well, let me. Get, <laughs> I'll hide behind Gabby. I'm going over there though. Yeah, I don't think that. Here's the key. Turn them to the way that you're going. Willow wants in. See, so Willow can come in here. Oh God, I'm terrified. Okay, she's free. 
Stella, do not do anything crazy because this is what the vet wanted. He wanted you to have a really small area. And it's not, she's gonna jump it. Put, put her thing on, she's gonna jump it. Oh, please dear God help us. She's like looking down on the ground to see if she has enough room to back up and jump. We should maybe make it smaller. And Willow's over there licking the pole. She's like, mmm, this tastes yummy. But you know what's funny about her little crooked nose? Is that when she wiggles her nose, it's the cutest thing. Good girl, Stella. Right here's where I should be So I might get Sam to put up some electric wire. I don't know if it's better. Like, this is essentially our attempt at introducing them across the fence from each other. Ah, oh, Willow. Oh. Just let them do their own thing. I essentially am in the safest spot I could find. So the vet said today that he, she could go into a little bit larger stall area in the arena. So that's what this is. Go ahead and roll if that's what you want to do. Don't go over where there's a bit ice. Don't fall on that wood. Uh oh. Jeez Louise. Jump. Okay, kid, put her lead rope on. She's trying to jump. This is not good. Stella. Like literally, I'm sitting in this little spot here. I literally, <laughs> I literally tried to go by Gabby. She <laughs> I tried to go. This is her. This is her. I'm moving around. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go slow. Go slow. So, we are gonna have to make the gate. That I mean, who knew that this this girl that has all these bad problems can like she's about to jump like. <laughs> And Until Willow's I over there all like, yeah, I'll just eat the, eat the wood while you guys figure out what you're doing. Until I stopped her. Okay. Yeah. Aren't you proud of me? Yes. I was hiding my from mom. I'm texting Fiona and she said, I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, who cares about the kids? I'm alive. I'm like, oh my God, I'm dead. Wait, I'm alive. Who was Gabby? My finger still hurts from that. <laughs> what? I, mean, I tried to hide behind Gabby. <laughs> She's literally hiding Okay, me. so essentially we need to make it higher. We need to get our, this rope. See the rope? See the electric wire? Get it and we'll tie it. Doing this again. Yeah, they have to get used no, to each other. We're not doing this again. Yeah, we, we are. Cut this then. Okay. All right. Stella, I'm coming behind you. Don't be scared. Yeah, look at my hiding spot. <laughs> I'm behind you too. Door. Door, Stella. I'm coming behind you. Do not be running. Oh. Ah. There, Willow. All right, we got it going on now. <sighs> this is not a safe spot. That is a good safe spot. I'm gonna. All right. I'll go close to this door, this wall here.
I have a headache now. I have a headache from all the fear. <laughs> like, literally, I was sitting in that blue chair over there, you guys. <laughs> Sophie, what are you doing? <laughs> she, she can't see you and you're talking. Uh-oh, don't go in there. The doors don't close in this place. Ready for tonight. So how much does we'll just get one scoop? Yeah, one full scoop.